Hello friends, welcome to the part 8 of the tutorial series. In this part, we will create the remaining routes like updating statuses and deleting the uh, to-do. So let's start with updating. I'll use the patch keyword here and it will take an ID. This is a dynamic uh, URL. And method is update to-do. That will again go to the service but here in the parameters I want to get the status from the body and the key will be status only the property that I'm sending from the front end so the status will be of type to do statuses or status and to validate the status whether because it can only accept three values like open WIP and completed but the user can send anything from the front end and to avoid this, I created a custom pipe here, the name to do status validation pipe. I can show you the pipe here. It's a simple class that, ex that implements the pipe transform uh, class here, which is imported from nest.js common. And I only allowed three statuses, which is an array of to do statuses. As you can see here, only these three values are, are allowed. And then I'm uh, receiving, we have, I mean, since this is implementing pipe transform, so it, it has to implement the method, which is the transform method. And uh, this transform method accepts two parameters. One is the value and the second is the metadata. So the value is the actual value that you are sending from here. Okay, so this value will get sent to the pipe here automatically. And I'm simply changing it uh, its case to uppercase right the user can send it in uppercase or lowercase but I will always uh, sending uh, transforming it into uppercase value because that is how I'm storing it in my database as you can see here next I created a private method here just to check whether this uh, value is present in in this array or not so the way I'm doing it is that if I'm finding the index of the current value if the index is not equal to minus one so minus one means that the, that the item is not in this array so if it is not uh, in the array so i'll simply throw a new bad request exception stating that the value you sent is not not a valid status otherwise i'll return a value which will get passed to the variable here and now i also need the id of the uh, to do that I want to update and I can simply get it by using the param decorator and I'm looking for the property of ID which is the same as this one so whatever name you give here you need to put it here and the variable name you can put anything you want but I will choose the same name as ID and I'll go to my service and create a new method by the name update I'll send it ID and the status so here I'll simply use my IDE's fun uh, capability to create a new method here and you see it already populated the fields and everything and this I need to return okay so here I will simply go to my repo and go to the update method I can put it and this is a this is a prom I mean this ret returns a promise as you can see here promise of update result so i'll await this and i'll give it a criteria that is id it will match, match the id with this id number and the data will be status so I, once that is done i'll simply uh, return the updated updated uh, to do here by finding by using the find one method okay so let's see it in action so if you have any questions regarding this transform let me know in the comments so if I go to my postman I created a new route here I'll name it update to do status okay save it the body this time I'm using 
www form and url encoded you can also use raw doesn't matter so i'll give the name status to the key and the value let's say if i choose any other value let's say test and hit send say it's test is an invalid status bad request 400 now if i say wip and the id may be 2 so i'm i'm sending it in lowercase as you can see i hit send I get the to do back with the status in uppercase. I can change it to complete it. Hit send again. It works. Similarly, you can change this to open in uppercase. That works too. But if you type anything apart from that, those three values, that it won't take it. So this is the patch functionality. Next will be my delete method. Again, it will take an ID and delete to do. And this will be pretty simple. It will only accept, requires the ID, no body, nothing. And I'll get it from the parameter this dot to do service dot delete i'll simply send the id there and i'll use my id's functionality to return await oops await and make this async of course this dot repo dot delete there are two deletes as you can see one is soft delete and the other one is delete so i'll use delete criteria is id and here it doesn't take anything else okay so save the changes go back to your postman and i have so many to do's here let's delete the item number 10 here so i'll create a new ta new tab here go to delete HTTP localhost 3000 API to do's and 10 hit send says affected one that means one row got changed refresh that's deleted from the database and of course since this is this is a a wait functional functionality you can always wrap it in a try catch block just in case if anything goes wrong you can catch the error throw new uh, internal server error exception and say something went wrong similarly you can wrap this in try catch block error throw new error save the changes and if i go here and try to click 10 again say it's affected row zero okay with this it says indelible error something went wrong uh, when your id is not a number can i give it a number so it's affected row zero that means nothing got changed if i hit uh, let's say eight affected rows is one so this pretty much concludes the uh, to do resource here the next the next video we will be working on the authentication part and we'll see how we can implement json web token and authenticate the user before he or she can access any of these resources and we also see how we can guard these routes okay all these routes here so till then please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and put your comments in the comment section below i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye